So here we are, downtown Nashville. Behind me is uh, Broadway. I want to go walk around and check this place out. You hear the music coming out of there? Yeah, look, you got milk ice cream coffee bar over there. George Jones Museum. Yeah. I'm not sure who George Jones is, but this is his museum. We got a Dick's Last Resort here. Looks like it's closed. And then right here you can find the moonlight. Or what you can't you can't stop the moonlight or something like that. Coyote Ugly. Huh? You wanna do the coyote ugly dance? Look, this is her doing the coyote ugly. Ooh, look at this place. Now just a couple of steps away from the uh, Broadway area, we have BB King's Club. Famous blues musician, father of blues, I believe. So it'd be kind of cool to check out. Was he? So welcome to Broadway, downtown Nashville. Folks, let's give it up to all of the dancers out there this afternoon competing for a brand new car. So this is Kid Rock's place. That's interesting. Yeah. There goes old reds. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Come back here later. This looks big. They have a lot of stuff in there. that they have music nowadays, you know? Well, with COVID, you know? Huh? So Nashville is home of the Honky Tonk. These places are all over the place. <laughs> oh, look, they got Nashville hot chicken. 
You might have to go there. Get Jack's barbecue. Got this crazy looking church. And then next to it we have the arena here. So there's the Bridgestone Arena here. This is where they would do all their concerts and stuff. And of course, more honky tonks. This is Tootsie's. It looks like it's starting up picking up right now. Walking down Nashville, I uh, right down in the middle of the street, I saw this building here, and it kind of reminded me of something. It's just missing the Eye of Sauron, but it looks like the Lord of the Rings Tower of Sauron there. <laughs> yeah, record store? No? Oh, is it? Yeah. Ernest Tubb here. This is Ernest Tubb's record store. And you know I love me my records. We got a couple of Elvis memorabilia here because he is from Memphis. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I remember these from. Uh, the ice cream truck guy that would sell like bags of random things oh, for a couple really? of bucks so it's uh, ten dollars for four cds but you don't know what you're gonna get that's funny i'm also liking how they have like this wall of fame of all the uh the artists that have come through here oh wow look at that Laurel Lynn. Look at pretty. It's like a little exhibit here. That's really pretty. Patsy Klein. I was like, wait, she looks familiar. I was like, wait, that's Patsy. She, it's actually signed by her. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, so what is this Roberts then? That place she passed by. I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I like that. <laughs> I, I would doubt they would have like used but Oh look. I've actually seen them. <laughs> Medicine show. <laughs> There's a video of me on uh on uh YouTube out there of me dancing to old Crow Medicine show. It wasn't, it wasn't a video that I took, it was a video that somebody else takes it and like me and George came out on it. It's like a pink Cadillac. 
<laughs> Here's Pink Hello. Oh, no. That was cool. <laughs> this is eerily a lot like Tijuana. Very much like TJ. Where they have the three story bars. I think the only difference is in Tijuana you get unlimited drinks. You pay like a cover charge, like 20 bucks, and it's all you can drink. Why does that sound familiar? He's a country artist. He's a, yeah, right? He's a... Oh my god, you need a sippy mask. Sippy mask, yo? That's hilarious. So, need to drink? Don't want to take your mask off? They got a solution for that here. The sippy mask. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Look at that hotel. Record storage. And here we have the Johnny Cash Museum. They got a Johnny Cash kitchen. Look at her! Look at her. It actually looks cool with the hair. <laughs> and we got Goo Goo's. Okay, we'll check out the Goo Goo. Full handle for candy. <laughs> you smell the goo goos. I like baby nuts and I can't not like. Where is it? It's the cozy. That's hilarious. <laughs> so I think this is like a Nashville staple here. Goo goo clusters. So they got rain ponchos here. Well, I think I'll have... Okay, okay. Things just got a lot more interesting. I'm definitely gonna go for that peanut butter. You wanna take one to Dom? Yeah. She would like them, huh? Yeah, yeah, take one for her. Oh my god. Little poo poo. <laughs> I remember when they come with that small. I know. I don't think he ever was that small, <laughs> honestly, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Yay! Huh. 
I just realized those are straws. Oh yeah. Huh. Look at that. Cherry wine milkshake. I'm not sure if I'm ready for ice cream yet, but... Okay, so we don't have to get it right now, but if you want to just grab some Yeah, I'll get some goo goos though. We're gonna go ahead and try the variety pack because I couldn't make my decision as to which one I wanted. They all sound really good. So you got pecan, peanut butter, and the original. So uh, that comes in all three in that uh, package there. So we're gonna check that one out. Look how cute these are. You see these? What is it? It's a, a the guitar basket. Oh, the guitar! I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the other part of the guitar. That's really cute. I kind of just wanted it just for the basket. <laughs> and this is them making them. <laughs> okay. So is it like a specific flavor that you guys are doing for right now? Uh, so this is one of them. It's for a summer chef. It's called Flocking Bananas. It's kind of built around like a um, banana cream or... Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, so it's got bananas, it's got a peanut brittle, it's got uh, a peanut vanilla, uh, nougat, it's, it's really so it sounds good. really good. Uh, there's another one up there. It's called Nina's Hot. It's Thai inspired. It's got basil and a spicy caramel. Oh, huh, uh, okay. It's, it's really, really good. Okay. That, that one's on a milk. This one's on a dark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> so these are the premium Goo Goo's. They got the Nina Hot. Jokalish. And this is the banana one. Got a PB and J. Oh wow. Mm. These look really good actually. Look, they got a sherry wine one. The Howie. This is dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. <laughs> Oh look, this is the, the, the entrance to the, oh. the bridge. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That's funny, it says, make eye contact before you cross, <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> look at me. So this bridge is dedicated to the memory of John Siegenthaler, who uh, saved a man's life in 1954 here on this bridge. And uh, it's, it used to be a commerce bridge. This is how the cars used to get through. It is now a pedestrian bridge and uh, I'm gonna let go because Becky's gonna probably- No, I'm gonna do it. She could do it, okay. She's gonna do it. Woo Good job. You take a breather. Whew. So we have another view of Broadway from here. You could also see their Titan Stadium over there. So we're gonna go the, across this pedestrian bridge and go check it out. And there's another view of the Tower of Sauron. So this is Agni Feed and Seed. We were supposed to eat there, but uh, it was closed when we got there. So it's a bunch of eateries inside and it looked like uh, just uh, curiosity stores and whatnot. And then in the back, you can see the Hard Rock. This little river here that goes through is really cute. It's got this uh, little train station there. And then on the other side of the lay, of the river over there, we have Titan Stadium. This is where the Titans play. This is where I remember the Titans from. And I believe that this was the old bridge it was replaced by that one over there. So this used to be the old bridge, so people used to drive through it now. Just walking only. Shelby Street Pedestrian Bridge. Here you can get another glance at the uh, railroad station that's located there. Over there is a fort. Now uh, it's a cute little fort. It's remnants of a fort that used to be there. 
we tried to go check it out but there was a lot of homeless people there and just didn't feel very safe the whole street didn't feel safe so we're just gonna glance at it from a distance And here we have a better view of uh, Titan Stadium. And it's just a big river. Really, really big river here. I actually really like it. Yeah, a cute little like, area there. Cute little area to just chill. There you got another look at the fort there that's over there. And it's just this big river. I mean... You even have someone fishing down there. Hmm. Hopefully he catches anything. Lights are turned on. We are going to Printer's Alley. It looks all lit up already. <laughs> Literally, is it an uh, alley? Though? Yes, it is. English pub. <laughs> I know, sorry guys. Uh, sorry. So, by what I read, huh? Um, and by what some of those people said, is like. If you want to go to a bar where they don't necessarily have music blazing everywhere, you just kind of want to chill, have a conversation, come to this alley. And you could tell right away that they don't have a lot of uh, music playing here. It's more like a just chill environment. So it's kind of interesting place to check out if you want to just get away from the mainstream, away from the music. Why would you? But I guess if you just want to have a drink and a conversation, this is the place to go. I really like how they don't leave their walls empty. There's always art somewhere. Or photographs. Uh-huh. It looks like there's another few restaurants down that alley too. Yeah, it looks like this is a continuation of that alley because the road looks the same, the same as it did over there. Oh yeah, it just continues it's from... Water, the road ended, it kind of curved into this way. Is that a good angle? So we came over to the Hermitage, Mama, but it's actually Mama, closed Mama. already. So okay. maybe we'll try to check it out later on. Oh. But it's really cute. Look at all that land. Right? You can't even see the building and it looked like a really huge building. <laughs> like this, these, way, these barrels. With the American flag on them? Yeah. There's deer on the road. Shh. Deer. Say like deer. Deer. D -d deer. Deer. Yeah, you see him? Deer. So that's it for our first day in Nashville. Uh, we didn't really get to end off the video while we were out there. We just had a really crazy day, so we thought we would um, just film this now that we're home. Um, 
the trip was really fun. The first day was a little crazy. Yeah, we had actually just gotten there. Uh, we were supposed to be there the day before, but uh, we got delayed in our flight to Dallas and we couldn't get a flight until the next day. So that was a bummer, but uh, we still made the best of it and I think we had a great time out there. Yes, um, for it being a little crazy as far as the travel, uh, it, it made for a fun first story for Lucas's first flight um, ever, actually. Yeah. So, you know, we, we definitely had to um, figure out what we were going to do last minute for us being delayed with the flight and having to stay overnight in a different city than we expected. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the baby was a trooper. He, you know, yeah, he, he did really as well, well as he could for all of the delays and being in the airport and not touching anything and all of that stuff. Um, but our first day in Nashville, we really just wanted to get settled into our Airbnb and we wanted to just go look at Music Row. So there wasn't much that we did otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope you enjoyed that first part of our video. We'll have a few others coming up that will show the next few days. Yeah, so stay tuned and uh, subscribe if you like these videos. And uh, let us know if you want to see any more uh, tips on uh, traveling with a baby. That might be another video yes. series that we might do <laughs> later on. I think we're getting to be pros now with that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thanks for everything and, uh, you know, give us a like.